Hi, this is Nicole from the Tempe Public Library, and today I'm going to show you how to make kusudama origami flowers, which are basically these guys. So for our supplies, we're going to need paper. Um, I have actual origami paper. If you have like um, construction paper or printer paper, that works fine as well. You'll just need to fold it down and cut off the excess so that you have a perfect square like this. And you'll need five of these. Then you'll also need glue of some sort. So I have rubber cement and then they're called zots. They're like little gelatinized strips of glue that you can use to glue stuff together. If you have like a glue stick or um, Elmer's glue or a hot glue gun, that would work perfectly as well. I've even made them using tape, but it's not super great to work with. So I'd use some sort of glue if you have the option. Now let me adjust us so that you can see what I'm doing. All right, so with our paper, we're going to start with what's called a valley fold or a mountain fold, which basically means we bring these two points together, these opposite sides. So let me bring this up. And fold it down into a triangle. Get a nice crisp fold there. You could use finger like I am. Or if you have like a scissor handles or a pen, if you have like acrylic nails or gel nails, that would w work really well as well. Okay, so now we have our triangle and our next step is going to be to bring these two points up to this top corner. So I'm going to grab one, bring it up. And then get that crisp line again and bring up my other side. And again, fold that down as nice as you can. So you get this little diamond shape. Now, once we have this diamond, we're actually gonna unfold it we just want to use these crease lines on both sides. So we're going to take our ends and fold them up so that they run along this crease line. So there's one side and then grab this other one, bring it up again. So this bottom edge runs along this crease line So now we've got a shape that looks like this. Now we're going into the hard step, so bear with me. It's called a squash fold. And basically what we're going to do is stick our finger in this little pocket here and expand it out, puff it out, and then fold it down on itself. So the paper will naturally want to lie where you actually want the fold, but it's a little confusing. It will probably take you a couple tries to get it right. So maybe you have a couple extra sheets of paper. And then we'll do the other one. So again, stick your finger in this little pocket here, puff it up, and then Bring it down, fold it. So it will, in the end, look like this, like a little fan. Now, once we've got this shape, we're going to take these little tips and fold them down into triangles against this edge. So you want a triangle whose bottom base edge is flush with this side. So, cut this, just pull it down. So you've got 
a little triangle flap here. And we'll do it on the other side as well. Okay, so we've got both sides. Now, we can see sort of a crease line here that divides this full triangle in two. We want to fold it back on itself along that edge. Like so. So, we'll do the other side as well. Oops. Okay, so we end up with something like this. So, kind of a square shape again, but it has like these little triangular flaps. Now is where we need the, um, the glue. We're basically going to bring these two sides together like this. So we want to stick glue on one of these sides and then glue them together. So let me get one of my Zots. And stick it on there. Rub it to transfer the Zot over and peel off my wax paper. And then, like I said, you want to bring these two sides together. So I like to sort of stick my fingers in here on either side. And then pull it up. Like so, so you sort of have like a conical shape. You'll see these three little distinct areas, I guess. Um, you can get your finger in there, kind of pull them apart. So if they're clinging to one edge or the other, you can sort of pull them apart like that. So this is one petal. You'll need five of these to actually create a flower. Luckily, I created four before we started. So now you need to get your glue. I'm going to go with the rubber cement here rather than the Zot. And you're going to glue them like this. So we can sort of see like this flower. You glue together the sides so that it comes together in a flower shape. So I'm going to put glue here and then here on my second. Stick them together. Like so. Depending on how strong your glue is, you might have to hold them together for a, for a minute to make them actually stick. And then you just kind of keep going. Looks like I made one too many. I 
All right. There you go, a beautiful flower. Now, if you want to create a bouquet, you'll need some sort of stem. I got, I have stem wire, which is very thin. So it's thin enough that I can just stick the flower in there, you know. Um, if you have like pipe cleaners, I would actually recommend gluing the flower to the pipe cleaner as you go, just because they're thicker. I don't think you'd be able to actually get them up the end there. But that's how you make a kusudama flower. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you guys later.